Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Thomas and we've got a finger style at level two this time. I hope level one has treated you well and you're ready for a new challenge. In this course, we're going to talk about adding more aspects. We're going to talk about chords with your fingers instead of arpeggios. We're going to talk about adding a slap. We're going to talk about some theory. Everyone loves it. Seventh chords, where they fit and how we can use them. And lastly, it's going to be put it all together in our challenging track at the end. Now in our first unit, we're going to talk about playing these chords with our fingers, whereas before we did arpeggios. We're going to show you the dreaded F chord, if you haven't come across this already. And we've got a nice little track, kind of a classical vibe to put all this stuff together with. And in this first lesson, we're going to be talking about the chords versus arpeggios thing. So using fingers to pluck chords rather than individual notes of the arpeggios. So if you're ready, grab your guitar and let's get going. Hi guys, before we get into it, don't forget, if you want the tabs, backing track, or the write-ups, just head over to our website. And make sure to leave us a like, and please consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps us out. Okay, so to start off, we need to talk about this concept of chords versus arpeggios. In our previous lessons, we've done arpeggios, which is simply just taking the notes of a chord and playing them individually, like a C. Now, to expand on it, we're going to play chords with our fingers, plucking them rather than strumming them. The same idea as doing your arpeggios, it's just we're doing them together. Now, the thing is, we're going to be a little fluid in the fingers we can use here. I mentioned previously about playing a very specific way with your fingers. Run with that idea, but be aware that comfortability allows you to a little bit of flexibility on this. So let's take the C for example. If we're going to play this all as a chord, we've got five strings, five fingers, which means the pinky might have to come into it at some point. If we wanted to do all of them, pinky's a little odd, but you know, it's something to add to the arsenal. Get used to that. We're not really going to do too much with the pinky in this, well, any of this course, but it's something I don't want you to shy away with, but I think what we're going to do is mostly say do a thumb and then a group of three fingers and then any smaller numbers of that thumb and two fingers across any gap. Let's take a look at that in a bit more detail. So our thumb still the same thing is going to go on the root note of each chord. For the C it's this A string and then if we want to do say the top three strings it's going to be first, second, third on those top three. But say we want to do the middle strings, the D, G, B strings, we're going to use the same fingers. Obviously we can't use the thumb twice like I showed you in the arpeggios. So we, that's what I mean about being a little flexible of where your fingers go. Now if we want to break the chord up into a bit more detail, we're going to end up using thumb and two fingers. Now, in this course, it's going to be consecutive strings. Pairs that sit together, but there may come a time when it's going to be skipping a, skipping a string. So it might be like first and the third finger. That's something to not be afraid of or, get, or shy away from either. Now, the fingers to use when we're doing, say, like this two finger thing. Obviously, when we're doing a thumb, it's going to be in the root note. And this is where the flexibility comes in again. Let's say we want to go thumb, and first, second finger, but then thumb and first to do the D and the G strings. That's fine. Also is fine is to do second finger, sorry, third finger and thumb, and then first and second finger to do those two strings. I'm not gonna be, not gonna be really going in on certain fingers to use. You've done your first lesson, you get how it works. I'm gonna give you a bit more flexibility here. So try not to do this though, try not to, jump the same pairs of fingers across all the strings. Really we want to go maybe first and second, first and second, second and third, something like that. Particularly when we're playing a faster tempo, jumping the fingers is gonna get really quite difficult. Okay, let's take a quick look at a C major chord and how we might 
do little chunky chords on this part. So we'll take our C, we're going to do thumb on the A string, let's do thumb first second on these consecutive strings on this A, D and G. Then we can take that little group of fingers up to thumb first second again. Then we could even do it again or we can go thumb, thumb and then the three fingers. Coming backwards we could even do three fingers, three fingers and then thumb and first. It really doesn't matter as long as we're not going a bit crazy jumping our fingers all over the place and not using different sets for comfortability's sake. Okay, so that's the core of what we're going to be doing and building up this course, or this unit rather, using this idea. All right, let's finish this up with a little exercise just to get this point across. So kind of building on what I've just done, we'll take the C chord again. We'll start with A, D and G strings, thumb, first and second finger. We'll go to the next set of three strings, D, G and B, same fingers. And then the last set of three strings, G, B and E, I will use with all fingers. And what we're going to do is just jump up and back on those groups. So first group, second, third, and then back. Backwards, you can either do all fingers or thumb and fingers. Doesn't matter. Whatever feels more natural to you. Just get a feel for how the fingers are going to move now. Trying to track these strings as they go. Previously we basically had our fingers not moving at all so it was a bit easier to know where they are. Now we have to kind of keep a bit better tabs on them. So just up and down this C chord, getting a feel for it. Try experimenting with the other finger groups as well. What I don't want you to do is only fingers, so I don't want this. I also don't want all thumb and fingers. There's too much work, too much movement there. So get a feel for this, and when you've kind of decided, this is how I want to do, you'll start to build up a sense for it, and it might change over time as well. But when you're happy, got that down, come and join me in the next lesson. I'll see you there. So that does it for this lesson, guys. If you want to go to the next lesson, please click here. And if you want to go back to the start of the course, please click here. Please let us know in the comments down below how you're getting on. We'd love to hear about you. And bye for now.